Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about Vince Wilfork's analytics profile. Vince Wilfork, in many ways, is kind of a preview into nose tackle data, nose tackle analytics. Uh, a lot of people talk about how nose tackles don't have to be productive, or nose tackles don't have to be athletic, and nose tackles don't have to be this, and they don't have to be that. But the tr truth is that nose tackles do need to be productive. Nose tackles do need to be athletic, and I think Vince Wolfork is one example of that whole, they don't need to be this, they don't need to be that, when in reality, they do. Um, so if you're new to the channel, new to the work that I do, all terms and definitions will be in the description. Follow us up out of the way, let's profile Vince Wolfork in terms of what his pre-draft profile looked like uh, to ultimately make him one of the best nose tackles in at least the last 10 plus years in the NFL. Um, so first off, when you look at his production data coming out, um, fantastic production. He had a 94.07 solo tackle score, 78.31 sack score, and an 88.91 tackle for loss score. He hit every single threshold we're looking for in terms of all pro potential and pro bowl potential at the no tackle position. And again, we're not talking about raw numbers here. You know, we're not talking about he had 10, 12 sacks a season. We're talking about market share data. How much of the team, you know, how much of uh he, you know him as an individual how much was he sacking the quarterback tackling you know tackling guys in the backfield stuff like that um you can clearly see that no tackles don't necessarily need to be sack monsters when you look at the data like um pro bowl potentials 37.06 so you definitely could be below average in terms of sacks and go on to become a high quality nose tackle but you do need to be active. You do need to be, you know, tackling the ball carrier beyond the line of scrimmage. And I think that's the biggest misconception about nose tackles. It's not just about run stuffing and stopping everything in the middle. It's about making plays outside of the line of scrimmage. And uh, Vince Wolfork definitely did a lot of that on top of getting in the backfield and causing disruption in terms of sacks and TFL. When you look at the averages of the position, definitely well above the average for all pro potential player, pro bowl potential player, and starter player when it comes to his overall production. And athleticism-wise, fantastic as well. 66.96 in terms of explosiveness, 71.41 in terms of speed, and 93.26 in terms of flexibility for his size. In many ways, the all-pro threshold in athleticism in terms of explosiveness and speed is set by Vince Wilfork in many ways because of his explosiveness and his speed, but definitely had a fantastic uh, flexibility score. Uh, and pretty much had all-pro potential based on his athleticism testing and, of course, based on his production testing. Um, the bottom line is... Is I'm going to be doing more videos on nose tackles in the future. You know, guys like Marcel Darius, uh, Halote Nata, um, all those types of guys, because I think there is a fundamental misunderstanding about nose tackles and the traits they need to show on paper. Um, time and time again, people make the argument that they don't need to be productive, they don't need to be athletic, they don't need to be this, they don't need to be that. When the truth is, they do. And when you get guys that are productive and athletic at the nose tackle position, like Vince Wilfork, you end up with something special. And as long as the traits are being met on paper in the future with nose tackle prospects, then you're going to be able to have a good one um, as well. So essentially, you need to be looking for these traits in the future if you want to find the next Vince Wilfork, if you want to find the next Walter Nata, if you want to find the next great nose tackle prospect. And of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at DraftCoburn at WordPress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Gymmetrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Share this video as well with anybody that you know. Hit that notification button so you're always reminded when another video of mine drops. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.